Good morning, my friends, and welcome back once again. I hope that this conversation and this mindfulness practice with the stages and parts of ambiguous grief are offering you a way to practice with your mindfulness and meditation towards resilience, connection, and an idea about what you have to offer and what you need in that connection. Keep it simple as you reflect on those questions in the first two stages. The third stage of working through ambiguous loss is practicing self-care. This time is draining and wearying even as we find ways to cope as we go along. I know there are times for me where I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like exercising. I find myself reading about numbers of cases and the desperation that this is only the beginning of what will become even more dark over the next month or two. I can tell you right now that reading those kinds of things is not practicing self-care. Self-care is much closer to home than any of that. And that kind of reporting and news jumps out at us every day, creating anxiety and sometimes despair in what seems like endless ambiguity. So this is a time to practice with self-care. Let us be seated. Noticing how carefully you have developed a place where you sit for your meditation. Determined what you'll be wearing that's comfortable. You made a decision to make room for these meditations in your daily morning schedule or some other time. And maybe you sit for them before or after breakfast. Maybe you sit with another person to breathe with mindfulness together. And maybe you even talk about it afterwards. Or perhaps you sit quietly alone and enjoy that 10 minute space. Let your breathing be gentle, low in your belly, noticing how your belly moves out and in, or how your chest moves out and in, as your breath slowly starts to descend towards your belly. Belly breathing is self-care. As the diaphragm opens and fills the lower lobes of the lungs, which take in the oxygen that feeds the body and the brain, and the brain begins to let go and allow itself to rest self-care. See, in many ways you're already doing it just by being present right here and right now. Breathing gently. Appreciating the quiet or appreciating that there is some noise in the background if there is. And allowing that noise to go through in one ear and out the other. Allowing the breath to go through. In breath and out breath. Nourishing. Let us practice today with a form of self-care that is about opening and stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system. It is the sympathetic nervous system that feels and creates agitation and urgency and discomfort. And it is the parasympathetic nervous system that creates stillness and that regulates all the parts of the body that move and keep us alive without any effort from us, such as the breath and the rate of breathing. And as we slow the rate of breathing, 
that stillness becomes ever more quiet and steady. So in this practice, I would suggest that you begin to count your breaths. The out breath is what opens and stimulates the parasympathetic most powerfully. So on your next in breath, allow yourself to count whatever amount of time it takes you to take in that in breath. It probably won't be long. Breathing in, one, two, three, maybe four. And breathing out, slow your out breath to be twice as long as your in breath or as close to that as you can come. Breathing out, one, two, three, four, five, six, until you are completely empty. And breathing in again. For whatever count that breath is. And breathing out by seeing if you can double it. Slowly. It's a whole different rhythm, isn't it? Letting that out breath release in a very slow count. And maybe it even helps you to be aware of how empty you can actually be on that last breath when it seems like there's nothing left. There's a little more to breathe out. And now allowing your breath to gently settle into its own rhythm. Breathing quietly. Experiencing a sense of gratitude for becoming more able to breathe in this way through your mindfulness practice. The breath is always with us. And at any given time, we can breathe in and breathe out much more slowly than we breathe in. And nobody is the wiser but us. And this is self-care in times when confusion or agitation tries to hijack you, where you begin to resist the reality that is true for us right now, that our lives have been made much smaller and more contained. And as you breathe quietly, Allow yourself to bring to mind one thing that is in your regular day or one thing you'd like to add to your regular day that would be caring for yourself, for some aspect of yourself. And again, keep it small. It might be a hot shower before you go to sleep. It might be taking the time to create or make a special treat that you like to eat and having one as you sit, breathe, and enjoy it. It may be a conversation or an idea that you want to talk with somebody about and make that connection. All of these things and more are self-care. Think of one thing today, my friends that you could practice twice, or practice for the first time, or even better, take a regular self-care practice and make a commitment to notice every aspect of how that hot shower feels on your skin. And staying there for just a little bit longer to notice it. Take in self-care today and make it your practice. Namaste. Amen.